Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from June of 2019. Let's start off with books and magazines. Got a 1993 issue of Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man. Cool ad for Sega Genesis Bart's Nightmare. Plus, 1973 issue of the world's most dangerous villains. You know, like Blue Llama and Yellow Wasp. <laughs> Pretty happy to find this book, Akadaka Maximum Rock and Roll. Excellent! Here's a crazy find, the 1996 service merchandising catalog. Discments and boomboxes were all the rage, and they had some sweet camcorders. And the fun machine, the Nintendo 64, would be available on October 2nd, 1996. Time to move on to the category of miscellaneous. Got two more Pez dispensers, Wonder Woman and Gonzo. This evening, I will perform a feat of lunatic daring. <laughs> Got a bunch of swizzle sticks from around Pittsburgh and Las Vegas, even one from Cedar Point. I got a bunch of cool Japanese erasers, a couple Umemon ones, and these ones are my favorite. And I got this Jumbo Domo pen, writes in six colors. I got this Amram patch, some old and interesting postage stamps, a squashed penny from the zoo, and a Terrell Davis solid bronze Super Bowl 32 coin. Only 25,000 were made. That's rare. Got some cute bubblegum scented Hello Kitty stickers, and this sticker that really has an attitude problem. This phony dollar bill featuring the Pittsburgh Steelers Jack Lambert also has an attitude problem. Believe it or not, I was thrilled to find this bicentennial napkin. I was five then, but still old enough to remember it. And I got this card that encourages you to dry your clothes with gas. I got a vintage Walt Disney World photo foldout and a few cool postcards. Hey honey, wanna hear something funny? Last night you got my hair growth formula mixed up with your face cream. I got 47 Kodak Ektachrome slides. A lot of these seem to be of kids playing musical instruments. I also got a pile of cool vintage photographs. Some of these are from the 60s, and I got a cake photograph. Hooray! My favorite is probably this old photo of an open pantry food mart. New Christmas ornaments. I got this crazy cosplay Santa Claus, a mid-flight Superman, and a leg lamp. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. And after Christmas comes New Year's, Chinese New Year in this case. From Le Choy, it's a huge inflatable snake, never even opened. Another giveaway was this Metrix Made Easy slider. It was a free gift sometime in the distant past from Spencer Gifts, where I currently work. And I got a tiny SeaWorld plate, a tin full of Zelda mints, and a super handy small cassette recorder. I'll carry this around with me and record all my song ideas into it. Wow, the movie ad newspaper section from August 1981. In my opinion, one of the greatest times for movies. Plus some Ponderosa coupons, a battle of the bands at Hardee's featuring Henway vs. Bo Sloan, and at the Friendship Inn, you could see Exotic Dancer. Ooh, how kinky. And finally, I got 11 vintage glasses and mugs. Got all four Batman Forever mugs, sold by McDonald's in 1995. Also for McDonald's in 1980 come these Super Bowl XIV glasses. Want my Coke? And from even earlier, 1977, I found these three. I got Ronald McDonald, Captain Crook, and Grimace. I hope you choke, you fat purple f from 1974, I found this small glass featuring Yosemite Sam and Speedy Gonzalez. And finally, from Pepsi in 1973, it's good old Speedy on a glass of his own. Righteous, man. Now let's check out my video scores. I got two Blu-rays, Darkest Hour and The Polar Express. 
And on DVD, I got Soap Season 2, Flipper Season 1, Disc 2 only, Oz the Great and Powerful, The Mummy Returns, Sin City, The Incredible Hulk, Blow, The Ghost Rider, Casa de Mi Padre, Where the Buffalo Roam, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Kicking and Screaming, and The Father of the Bride double feature. And I found this Video 8 cassette. It's seeking footage of someone's locomotive ride. It is. It's just the highest one you see right, right out in front of us. But then when it comes to the population, is isn't that great. Time to move on from video to audio. Got two local cassettes. This one's by Evil Twin, a.k.a. Gina Favano. And I got this 1991 cassette from local radio station WDVE, who are celebrating 50 years on the air in 2019. After all these years, I finally got myself a vinyl copy of Belinda Carlisle's Heaven on Earth. It has a cover of one of my favorite Grace's songs, Should I Let You In. Also, I got this 1987 12-inch of I'm Supposed to Have Sex With You by Tony O'Kay from the Summer School soundtrack and a 12-inch of Warren Zevon's Leave My Monkey Alone. <laughs> got Picture Sleeve 45s by Madonna, Dennis DeYoung, Peter Cetera, Jermaine Stewart, Bon Jovi, Luther Vandross, Leslie Gore, The Dave Clark Five, Mike and the Mechanics, and Starship. <laughs> And records by the Pointer Sisters, Van Halen, and Bruce Willis. An old orange Mickey Mouse Club record, a probably unplayable old McDonald's Farm Paper record, and this easy listening classic by Red Peters. Let's see. B space 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 me, you hardly even know me. Ooh, how kinky. And I got 36 more CDs. The Pretenders. Elvis Costello, Tin Machine, The Afghan Wigs, Retro 80s Rock, Spando Ballet, Annie Lennox, Three CDs by Prince, Bruno Mars, Randy Newman, Paul Shanklin, Soundtracks from Nowhere and Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, John Kay, Little Feet, Thunderclap Newman, John Mayall, Django Reinhardt, Three Volumes of Chess Blues, The Ventures, The Animals, Steve Miller, Jethro Tull, Pink Floyd, John Fogarty, Neil Young, Sammy Hagar, Van Halen, Danger Danger, Kiss, Iron Maiden, and my favorite this month is the ZZ Top Six Pack, their first six albums on three CDs. Plenty to listen to. So let's check out the last category, and that is toys and games. I got some more trading cards. I got some 90s Panini hockey stickers and 19 1985 Topps hockey helmet stickers. A couple mascot cards, a 1990 Magic Johnson card, some strange 1991 NBA stay in school cards from Skybox, and this equally odd Upper Deck Choice Reggie White card. Got eight 1980 Top Steelers cards, a 1977 Fleer Super Bowl II card, and this card shows us troops in Saudi Arabia watching Super Bowl 25 in 1991. Wow, Weird Al played for the Mariners? Ah, uh, fooled me again, Pete lad. <laughs> and I got 17 Pokemon gaming cards, one Transformers card, and one Superstars music card. I ran into my friend Jack Stauber at the thrift store, and he handed me this. It's a whole box of Country Classics trading cards from 1992. 19 sealed packs. Let's open a pack and see what we got. The cards in this pack include Merle Haggard, Gene Autry, Crystal Gale, Chet Atkins, Minnie Pearl, and the Country Music Hall of Fame. I also got one 1993 Batman sticker, this promo card for Bazooka Smooth and Juicy Bubblegum, 10 National Geographic World cards, and 26 1978 Elvis cards. I got exactly one pack of these back when I was a kid. Wow, here's a 1969 Topps Man on the Moon card. 
I also got two 1978 Battlestar Galactica cards and two 1979 stickers from Star Trek The Motion Picture. But I was amazed to find five Series 4 Star Wars cards and 32 Series 3 Star Wars cards. There's only one thing better than that, 39 Empire Strikes Back cards from 1980. I only got one pack of these as a kid, so these really made my month. Continuing the Star Wars theme, I got a sealed pack of 2013 Attack of the Clones Viewmaster reels and a sealed pack of 1997 Galoob Micro Machines Imperial Pilots. <gasps> Whoa, 1983 Sugar Bear figurine that came in boxes of Super Sugar Crisp cereal. That is wild. I found this Rugrats watch, but I can't tell you who made it. I couldn't find anything about it online. But this 1997 British Bulldog wrestler was made by Jack's Pacific. I got an alien playing soccer, and one of my favorite aliens, E.T. This figure was made in 1982 by LJN, and features an expandable and retractable neck. I also found this little guy, and I filmed one just like this in a movie that I made back in 1987. Also got a 1981 blueberry muffin figurine, and two play food metal cans of Libby's tomato juice and sliced peaches. Damn! Also got nine Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks figures from 2009 and a vintage Handicraft Play Phone, just like one I would have had as a kid. And I finally came across an affordable Fisher-Price Play Family Farm barn, including all the animals and accessories, only $3. <laughs> and I got some video games. For Sega Dreamcast, I got Jet Grind Radio. For Xbox 360, I got The Walking Dead and The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. For Nintendo DS, I got Kingdom Hearts Recoded, and for Wii, I got Wii Sports Resort and Zumba. Ah, uh, Dumba. <laughs> and I got a PS2 iToy camera, a Sega Genesis Power Clutch SG controller, and an NES cleaning kit. Cool. Now I won't have to blow into the damn thing anymore. And I got some sweet vintage Atari controllers. These arcade-style 500XJ Epics controllers were made by the Conix Company. And this video controller by the RGA International Company is something I saw in Electronic Games Magazine back in 1983. I've always wanted one. And now it's time for the find of the month. Here it is, an Atari 7800 system. I never had one until now. I'm so excited. No power supply, but I'll get one. I got everything that you saw in this video for about $29. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from June of 2019. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. I hope you choke, you fat purple f